Finally, our person of the week, a man who provides a powerful counterpoint to the debate on the cost of health care. While the country's embroiled in arguments, voices raised and fingers pointed, this man has little time for talk. Sorry about the long line. It's really like disaster relief, isn't it? The parking lot is going to open at 0400. If you've got a mouthful of bad teeth and you can't see to function and get a job, for you it is a disaster. Hello, good morning everybody. Stan Brock has been in the disaster relief business for 25 years. We're very glad you're here. Providing medical care free of charge to all comers. Number eight, come on down. Number nine. Number nine. Stan's Remote Area Medical Foundation has staged 346 free clinics in the rural U.S. This week, though, there has been nothing rural about his location. For eight days, he has set up shop in Los Angeles. People ask me, you know, what are you doing in Los Angeles that's not very remote? But, you know, for people that simply can't afford health care in this country, uh, the opportunity to get it is remote. It's a jungle in downtown L.A. We need it here, too. If this wasn't here, we wouldn't be able to go to the doctor for who knows how long. It's already been a long time. The clinics are all volunteer. Everyone, from the greeters... Good morning, right here, I'll show you. ...to the dentists and doctors. It's still a little high. Stan founded Remote Area Medical to serve the underserved in the third world, and he still does that but his primary mission has changed. 64% of all the work we do is right here in the United States. At one time, Stan could have been one of the thousands waiting online. I've been homeless, I've been without money and without health care. And so knowing that and knowing the obstacles that they face really is the impetus. Remote Area Medical saw 24,000 patients in the U.S. last year, but the clinics only last a few days. There's just not enough time or volunteers to treat everyone. When we get to the end of, of the day, on the last day, and there are still women out there holding up their kids, just wanting us to see one more, and we have to tell them, I'm sorry, that's, that's the worst part of this job. What is great, though, is to see somebody that's been in the dental chair change their lives, really, or got a brand new pair of glasses, and now they can see. Whoa. And they, afterwards, they go up and they hug the doctor and say, thanks for coming. Hey, that's great. That's great. And so we choose Stan Brock. He and the remote area medical team will leave Los Angeles on Tuesday where they have seen 8,000 patients, and they'll head next to Roan County, Tennessee.